Okay, so uh, today we're going to look at a couple of outlets here. Two different ones here. Here in the country I'm born in, we have 120, 240 coming into a house. And into our commercial buildings, we have uh, 208, which is three phase, and that is uh, 120 volts each hot wire to the neutral. And we also have 480, 277, which is uh, 277 volts phase to neutral and 480 between the uh, any of the two hot wires. But today we're talking about 120, 240 and uh, this is a 240 volt, 220 volt outlet and it will be for like a 20 amp air conditioner with this ground hole facing down. Notice how uh, this side is horizontal and we'll look at the 20 amp one 20 volt outlet and see the difference. The horizontal one on the 240 is on the uh, right side. Now on the 120 volt outlet for 20 amps, the uh, horizontal is on the uh, left side. And this is only for 120 volts. And uh, this one is for uh, 220, 240. So I'll show you how to hook up this uh, 220, 240 volt outlet here in the country I'm born in, the United States of America. Okay, so first we'll start with our ground wire. We'll get it around the, the green screw in the back of the box, close our loop behind it. I strip the jacket longer and leave the ground wire longer. Okay, so we have a black and a white. And uh, since both of those wires are going to be live, we're going to take some electrical tape here. And we are going to uh, remark the white wire live. pain how this cellophane wrapper comes off in little tiny pieces, but you got to fight with it. So we got our tape out. Break a little piece off. We'll remark the white wire live with our black tape. Or you could use red tape. Now this way they know the next person that works on this would know that the uh, white wire is live. So now we'll strip our two wires. We're using number 12 on 20 amps. Now since this is 240, it does not make a difference which side you put the marked white wire live and the black wire, but the ground goes on the green screw. So we'll take our ground wire, loop it the direction that the screw turns, put it around the ground screw. Okay, so we'll put the black wire on this side. This is number 12 on 20 amps, and that's what this outlet is rated for. And this would be for an electric air conditioner or maybe a air compressor.
Okay, now we'll turn this at the ground holes facing down and we'll hook our white wire which is remarked to show people that it's live. I'll bring the insulation down so it doesn't get pinched. And I'll make sure the copper is the only thing under the screw head. And I brought the end of the wire down below this plastic so we get a good true tight connection. Okay, so we got our uh, outlet hooked up. And when I fold this in, I'll fold the ground wire zigzag across the top. And when I put these screws in, I'll have to cut these off so that the top one so it doesn't hit this Romex connector back here. So uh, let's give it a test now. Okay, so we'll come over to our breaker box. We'll we will uh, turn on our uh, 20 amp two pole breaker here. Okay, so we'll use our digital meter. We put it on 300 volts because that's the uh, uh, lowest voltage we have above the uh, two. Uh, that's above 240. So I'm going to take and go. Okay, the meter is showing 243.44 volts. Now we'll check to the ground. We'll put one on the ground here. Okay, now we can go down to the 200 volts and we'll check it to the ground here. 121. We'll do the other side. Okay, we have a 121, 122 on this side. Peace. Thanks for watching. And there's one side of the outlet close up, and here is the other side.